Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna pick our first um, yakon, and here it is, right there. There's a few more there, but um, I'm gonna start with this one today. This one was in a pot for the first um, few months, and I took it out of the pot and into the ground um, at the end of summer. So I don't know if that would have um, had any impact on the outcome, but let's find out. I'm going to chop it down. You can see here it's growing a new shoot. Look at that. Can you believe it? These are the old ones. And it's even growing new shoots on the, on the old stems. Look. I'm, I'm, I'm a complete newbie with the Akon. So I'm still learning. Look at that, new shoots all along. So it looks to me like um, these guys can stay permanently as they are. Right? What's going on here? It's the beginning of winter and it's um, growing new leaves. Hmm, very interesting. So because of this fun fact, I'm not going to remove these new shoots. What I'm going to do, see there's a couple of new ones there as well. Right there. Those two. Instead of pulling these, these out completely, I'm going to leave those and get rid of the old ones. The big ones I showed you. One, two, three. And leave the new ones intact. So I don't know how I'm going to do this in order to access the... Um, the tubers. By the way, Yakon is also known as Apple of the Earth. Or Earth Apple. Alright, I cut I cut off the um, four main stems and I left the young ones. Hopefully they'll um, sprout up over spring and summer coming. But how do I get to the to the tubers? Looks like I'm gonna have to dig all this out. Let's let's start by pulling all this out, which is what I put there to help it um, grow over autumn. Okay, still no sign of tubers as I've cleared everything. Right. So I'm gonna see if I can dig it up with my hands. If there's anything here. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. That didn't take long. Yep, okay. So they're just beneath the surface. Alrighty. Got it. There they are. Alright. I take it. It's the same over there. Nope, just roots there. Yep, there's a big one there. Okay. So what this means is I need to go and get a tool. I don't want to use my fingernails. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that was easy. Like this. Okay, here they are. Oop, looks like I damaged that one. Sorry, it's my first time. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Six, whatever. Oh, this is fun. This is great for kids. Wow. <clears throat> that one seems too big. Okay, gotta go. Got 
there on that side. Ooh, it's a big one. It's also got roots. Oops, I damaged that one too. Sorry. I'll have to go on the other side. Oh, there it is, little one. So they're all different sizes. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, the soil is so good here, wow. Okay. Oops, this one is... Ooh, big, oh, wow. Nice and big. Okay. Wow, with the one hand. Look what I'm harvesting, guys. You can't go wrong with these. Right? Like that white screen. Okay. You can't go wrong. There might be more under there, but I think that's enough for now. We're just going to go and try them. So, I think I'm done here for today. Just finish off the other side. Yep. Yep. Nothing left. Nothing left. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's little ones. What's this? Wow. It's like super tiny. <laughs> Okay, there might be more underneath the uh, the plant itself, but I, I don't want to take these plants out because look, they're new plants, like brand new from Bunnings. So I'm going to leave them there. The thing is, I had plans to put a fruit tree here. This is like right in the middle of a big opening space. So we'll see what I do in spring, how these um, come through winter. If they um, have problems through winter, they look brand new, don't they? Like it's summertime. Um, yeah, if they have problems over winter, I'll just pull them out. Otherwise, if they look like this in uh, September, I'm going to leave them in. I'm not going to pull them out or at least transplant them. Try to lift the whole thing up without damaging too many roots and uh, put it somewhere else. Because this is definitely going to be for a tree only. So that was only one plant there, right? And uh, over here I've got one, two, three. And these were never in a pot. These were always in the ground. They didn't have any transplant. So I'm expecting some big whoppers to come out of these plants. But I'm going to leave those for another time. Yakon, yeah, guys. Easy peasy. I haven't tasted it yet, so I'll stay tuned. Okay, guys. Next, we fill this up. I'll wash the yakon of dirt. Right? Okay, we got our washed and clean yakon. Okay guys, I'm going to do a, a taste test now on this one here. I'm going to peel it. Alright, we have a peeled yakon. Let's taste it. Okay, I sliced it. No smell. Mmm, pleasant. Wow. Hmm. It's like a mix between an apple and a pear without any sugar. It's not sweet. It's just neutral. It's like 
taking all the sugar out of the apple and having the apple on its own. Very, very crunchy and juicy. Okay, Kim's gonna give it a taste test too. Kim, what do you think of the yakon from the garden? Reminds me of jicama, and I can't wait to make a Malaysian fruit salad with this. Rujak bua? Called rujak bua. Mm. It's gonna be great in that. Great. I'm looking forward to it. Next couple of days. Alrighty. Mm. I like the juiciness. It's gonna be great in that salad. So guys, looks like I got a thumbs up from both myself and from um, um, Miss Fruitopia there. It's really weird. Tasting something so crunchy and juicy without any sugar. I mean, there is sugar, but it's like at a 5, 5 out of 10. Instead of sweet, it's like at a very low level. The lowest level of sugar. It's very good. Hmm. Oh, it also tastes like a carrot. Yeah. Apple, pear and carrot without the sugar. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this video on our first Yakon harvest.